Hi, I'm Carl Sherry and I'm bringing you a series of videos on generators. This is the first one. I have a client here who has a three-phase Delta uh, connected service. It's a 200 amp service and uh, a long time ago this building used to be used for mainly light industrial purposes. Now it's mainly commercial. So we've had a lot of power outages this year up in the foothills and the client needed a generator to install one. Because it's a three-phase delta, the high leg barely gets used, um, where the midpoint of the phase winding is connected. It, um, it's worthless for most of his needs here. So how do we save him money here? Here's a cost-effective way to do it. Here's a 200 amp transfer switch here. As you'll see, I've, I'm isolating the conductors per NEC 700. Also, um, you see just two phases coming out here of uh, the standby supply. That's E1, E2. Um, how does this work? We have a, we've installed a single phase generator to save significant amount of money for our client so that he can utilize a, a 20 kilowatt generator and not have to um, you know, use five, six gallons an hour of propane. So again, we have three phases being isolated and single phase on E1 and E2 coming in to transfer over the load. So since 99% of his communications and lighting is on uh, the first phase and the second phase, then this is sufficient enough for this uh, for this installation. Also, if you can see here, you look at the transfer switch, it's rated 200 amps. It, it's uh, electrically operated and mechanically held. Down here, you'll see the sensing systems that Generac installed. So the utility drops these uh, sensors, transfer power to actuate the relay. Here is a, a three phase phase monitor. I believe they're made by T Timemark. And uh, again, we have the voltage, the under voltage set at 80% and the nominal at 240. Again, this monitors the three phases and um, uh, the rest of this here, we can go ahead and video number two will go up and take a look at the 20 kilowatt generator. Thanks.